My name is Mary Balloon of Camden, Ohio, and I'm a member of the Preble County Egg Society Board, more commonly known as the Fair Board. I am speaking on my own behalf and not on that of the board. So outside of what I've prepared, I, I want to say um, that all of us are on the same team. And, and I believe that we all have the same end in mind. And that's the, the betterment of our community and the wise resource of, uh, wise use of all the resources we are given. I know that you two uh, work very hard for the county and Connie has for many years. So I, I want to say that because some of the things I'm going to say is a immediate personal response to get defensive. Um, and I'm not here to cause problems. I'm here to express my own opinion. I think that a lot of us have very strong opinions about how things should be done. And if we could all just have our way, we'd be very happy. But we're here working with everybody. And um, I never want to lose sight of that. First is my understanding that there was an item on your agenda this past Monday on the fairgrounds grant. Is that correct? Yes. You're right. saying an item on the agenda? Yes. We had a meeting with it Kevin Conley. Oh, you're talking with PC. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. With PC. And, and Kevin Conley was the gentleman that made the bid for certain items at the fair. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, hearing that is true, I want to express my disappointment that the fair board was not notified of this meeting or invited to be part of that discussion or initial opportunity to, to meet him. After hearing of the meeting, I sent each of you a copy via email of section 1711.31, Control of Lands When Title Vested in County Commissioners. From, and this is what is commonly known as the Red Book, which is the state's requirements on fair management. And I read, when the title to grounds and improvements occupied by an agricultural society is in the Board of County Commissioners, the control and management of such lands and improvements shall be vested in the Board of Directors of such society so long as they are occupied by it and used by it for holding agricultural fairs. And you all are aware of the Red Book and, and that requirement. As you know, the Fair Board was provided the services of the M&A firm out of Columbus in order to prepare the list of grant improvements needed for the grant through the generosity of the Preble County Economic Development Partnership. And I want to thank Denise and Rodney both for the time they took to attend many of the meetings and to provide their input. Many hours were spent to achieve consensus on the best use of the grant dollars. Not an easy accomplishment with a 15 board member anywhere. The importance of three criteria was, were stressed through the process. Three criteria. Number one, safety. Number two, economic development, income improvement and number three, building repairs. You also have in your possession the scope of electrical repairs submitted which meets all three of these criteria. The Expo restroom shower was at the top of the board listing, near the top, due to its great importance for economic development. This addition will provide for the enhanced usage of the Expo, said to be the number one potential income source and resource for our fairgrounds. In addition, our community wants and needs this addition. Its existence will impact income and fair convenience for our 4-H members and the community. You have received a bid from a company to repair and paint the grandstands and the related restroom nearby. Certainly that meets the criteria mentioned earlier. But it is my belief that the over $334,000 quoted can be reduced by limiting the scope of that bid and thus providing additional dollars for other areas. 
Certainly there is no need to paint areas of the grandstands that are not in need of new paint. I realize there is a lot of interest from you in making our fairgrounds look better. We all want that. We want an area that we can be proud of. That when people come and visit our community, they smile and say, there's pride. There's pride in Preble County. But I submit that the other criteria is of greater importance and impact. Income generated will help complete the other projects along with initiatives being planned to generate community involvement with those cosmetic repairs. Meanwhile, we have just over one year to complete the improvements or lose the money. Why is this taking so long to implement? It is true that the process of providing the list took up some time. Complaints about some of M&A's work was justified, and those have been addressed with them. Are you still with me, Rodney? Taking notes. Okay. The plan. I can't take them if you're not talking. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to make sure that I still had you with me. I'm um, taking notes. The plan is to have their final report completed by the end of this month, which should include all the changes which have taken place since the board approved list was submitted to your office. I believe the greatest weakness in the time that it has taken to get this rolling and get it done is the lack of grant administration inside of your office. When we are handed such a huge award, the attention given to this project waned and flowed depending on what was the hottest item of the week. This is a huge ongoing problem for the people of Preble County. Having professional staff available to administer special projects instead of expecting your current staff to take on additional work in addition to their current workload. Our fairgrounds management and the fair board do not have the experience or skills to lead this project in any kind of timely manner. Never been there before, never done it. This grant flows from the state to you and we need your office, and have needed your office, to take that lead. Right now, I believe two things need to happen right away. Number one, evaluate the scope of the grandstands bid and reduce it as mentioned earlier. This frees up additional dollars for other items. Hire an architect to draw up the Expo restroom shower edition. And Chris Miley has made a recommendation of one he has worked with successfully and locally. Then get a bid based on that drawing. Let's get going on this together. Communications are always difficult to stay on top of, but so important for all parties. And the guilt lies on both sides and in, in every area. I want you, I know you want this project to be successful almost as much as our staff, fair board, and the community. That's all I have. Well, one thing that I, I, I really did expect Monday when we sat down with our, with our list of the, the, paint, the painting project, the piece of that, um, I was expecting to actually gut that list in so much that we would do the top however many of the buildings, you know, fix the buildings, you know, those first two buildings at the gate I think should be high priority to fix them up and make them look nice, but... but the horse marks? Yes. But we, I had no priority list from the Ag Society to work with because I can't look at the list that we got and say, oh, we don't need this or this or this. <coughs> we asked for the priority because didn't, weren't, weren't, wasn't the Ice Society given that list that we had from PCI? Mm -hmm. They were given that and, and we, we asked that by June 3rd we had something that your mm -hmm. board 
And but Denise, that request went to whom, please? To to you? Did it go to you? Right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. You're talking the day that you asked. I haven't that. been in here since the day that I talked to you yeah. all. Right. We and and we talked about submitting the bid specs for electric. At right. that but point, I don't believe we discussed prioritizing that list. We did. Okay. Yeah. We got because we needed a list, a priority list by June third. Okay. I took. I took that to the fair manager and the fair president, fair board president, right. and told them both. Okay. All right. And All right. I know that that's been worked on, and I know that James has the list. Well, and and that's why I'm confused as to why. I don't I don't believe the June second. I've never heard the June second date by this date. Well, but yeah, it was kind of a funny discussion. I remember it because. You asked why June third was so special, and Connie said just because. Just because. <laughs> oh, yeah. it wasn't a good answer. It, just it wasn't a very good answer, but but we needed it because we we all know that we're on a deadline here. We okay. all know that. All right. And so I I do know that both the fair board president and James realized the importance of getting that done because we don't want this dragging out any more than anybody else does. Well, because my, my thought on Monday's meeting was that we would have that priority list and then we would pick the top four or five, however much money we thought we could save back for the electric in the back, the restroom at the expo. Mm -hmm. But because I didn't have a priority list work from, I, we just knocked off the four that we knew were easy kind of obvious ones that we didn't have to do. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I would like to say that I did take that directly back to them. Now me saying something like that to those two people, I'm only a fair board mm -hmm. member. Right. I don't have the did, authority. Were they to inviting require. here today? They were I told them about this. Okay. okay. I believe that there have been meetings taking place uh, of Rodney and some fair board members um, ongoing. So maybe you can enlighten us on Definitely what's will. been happening there. Okay. I'd love to. That I'm not uh, personally aware of. Right. Does that, right. So here's well, I, yeah, I've, been, I've been heavily involved in this since day one and I appreciate you coming in Mary and I appreciate what you have to say. Um, you know as far as I got a lot of things I guess to to discuss um, for your questions. But I think when, when we look at this as a whole, I think we're all on the same page. We want to improve the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of needs down there. Uh, I, along with a lot of your fair board, mem fair board members, agree uh, that sometimes you have to take care of existing problems before you put up new buildings or, or you know, it, taking care of existing buildings should be a top priority because if you don't take care of the existing buildings, you're, you're building say the Fair, Fairgrounds Expo, for example, you dump half a million dollars, and I think that would probably cover it, maybe, I'm not sure. Not even, not even with, close. With the ex now, if you're just putting showers, we're not talking just putting showers. In, in, in the ex extended conversa conversations that I've had, meeting rooms, conference rooms, maybe moving the yeah, ag off. That's outside the scope of the grant dollars, okay? That's that, right. That but was never wanna... originally requested by the Fair Board. We had a specific request for restrooms and showers. Now, with and when an architect ever designs that area, they can do it with the thought in mind that it could be expanded and built upon at a later time when there right. are more monies coming in. But I think and you yourself, Rodney, started out this whole project very excited about the economic opportunities these dollars oh, could bring to us. Definitely. And improving those buildings brings no additional dollars. It only cosmetically makes us look prettier. Well, I think cosmetics is, is a huge. Why, why do we have downtown revitalization projects in town? You, you update the buildings and people come. Yes. So I do believe that but when you looking good is economic development. If you got potholes in the roads and buildings falling down, you don't have economic development. We, we don't have buildings falling down other than the problems with the horse farms. Well, we have buildings that you were wanting to tear. What about building 24? You want to tear it down, aren't you? That is part of the extended long-term... Oh, we got buildings buildings. Falling. Do we have buildings falling down at the fairgrounds, Mary? No, we don't. We, I will what? personally walk into any of them except... If we go back on Jeff's video over here across the road, they have three or four buildings they want to tear down. Why? 
let's long term I, plan is to tear some buildings down. Right? The rest hold of on, let me have the, let me finish this. I got no, I got the floor. But, but I think let me hold on. the situation, Rodney, is is not how we argue. Well, I'm not about arguing, I'm trying to, to I, to or go back on what has happened in the past. To say that the most important thing to do is to go forward. Oh yeah, but to say that improving the overall look of the fairgrounds does not improve economic development because let's say we have five or ten thousand people at the Etonic Music Festival. I did not reduce the importance of and that. Now, I we placed have, something else above it. And anyway, which will bring additional dollars in, whereas that will not. Okay, just give me five minutes. That's all I'm asking. Don't inter just don't interrupt me, okay? Um, when I look at the fairgrounds, okay, when I pull in that fairgrounds, I see a beautiful black top, and I know we've had, you, you know, I, I, looks are very important to me. They are um, very important to me. Having, having roofs that are painted and not rusting, mm -hmm. having, you know, protecting what we have is important. Um, I will tell you that I have had a lot of meetings with your president and your vice president, which I, you know, in your fairgrounds manager. It's no secret. Um, I want to get their input. I met with them individually. I mean, I met with them together, but by myself. Not right. As, not and Rodney, you say it's no secret, but was that information relayed to your fellow commissioners, and did our fair board members share that with the rest of the board? Yeah, I, I was in here the other when I, I just said the other in Monday's meeting. I met with Rodney Mann, that was Clint Monday. Stevenson, and your fair grounds manager went through the list. And they were totally fine with it. And a lot of, and, and I'll tell you who else showed up and I didn't know uh, was uh, Joe Farrell. Joe Farrell. So they were so, okay with the, the painting list? Totally fine. That's painting? what we've been talking I'm trying to figure out, I mean, Denise, you've been here the last five months. This is all we've been talking about. I, I, I don't no, know. It's, there's no secrets. Originally, your enthusiasm was all about economic development. It still and is. And it's really hard for me to understand why you don't see that the showers and restrooms are so important that they be added to the expo. Building. I think they're totally important, Mary, but I think in looking at when we had that meeting in here at the Port Festival, um, and, and yourselves, you know. One member from the fair board came and did not notify the rest of us that that meeting was taking place. I guess, you know, when I, when I look at economic development, you know, putting showers and restrooms on the end of a building, it may help. But what about putting a big wing on there that you have meeting rooms? What about having a nice, uh, what about having a nice restaurant, not restaurant, I don't know, kitchen. Uh, kitchen area where you can actually have events. Um, we can slap a $70,000 bathroom on the side and then that screws us up. And they, you know, I, I think looking at this, and I've been to almost every meeting except the one I was sick and Denise went to my place and I thank you for that. Uh, I've been to every meeting. Um, I've listened. Um, I think as a collaborative effort, we've put a lot of thought into this. Um, we have a select few that want this, we have a select few that want this, we have a select few that want this. Um, so we have had to take that all in. I think bathrooms are a top priority. We can't afford to, if, by the time it, it get to the grandstands, I totally agree with you 100%. I think we're getting a list a la carte. We're gonna, I don't think we should be painting surfaces that don't need painted. Go, go back to Monday's meeting and you'll hear me beat that up. Um, I think we can save a lot of money on those grandstands. I really do. Um, I don't disagree with your vision for what would be nice and great to have at the Expo. I think that what you're losing sight of is that you were submitted with an approved list from the Fair Board that is the only list you have that has been approved. And I think it would be very disappointing that you would deter from the priorities set by the fair board. Now, the list of what buildings happen when there's additional money still available after those key priorities are completed, James Mays has completed one. That has not been approved by the executive committee or by the fair board. And I believe that's his hesitation to turn it in. Even though he's been talking about it, he has not been given the authority to turn it in to you guys. Well, James was 100% on board when I met with them last week. And I, I just wanted to go over that list and say, hey guys, do you think these things are important? I mean, as far as priorities, we can do almost everything on the list. James There's does no... not make decisions for the fair board. No, but like I said, he was there with the president, the vice president, and another board member. They were fine with it. And, and from what I picked up 
a majority of the people were fine with it. We're, we're not going out, and, and, and don't take this, I'm just going to throw this out, some stupid, you know. We're not going out and building a, a half a million dollar fountain in the middle of the fairgrounds. We're fixing up existing buildings that need fixed. Um, we need electric. We need everything. The grandstands have to be fixed. I mean, there's a lot of things that we're not fixing because we don't have enough money. But at the end of the day, I look at it, I mean, and, and, and regarding your, your email, you know, as far as the Ag Society, yeah, you, uh, you're you responsible for the maintenance of the buildings. You're responsible for maintaining the properties. But if any anything gets altered on that property or if any anything gets updated or changed, it has to go before this board. We own the property. No, it doesn't. And you can read that, and maybe you need to go to your prosecutor and re-examine that and get his. You say you can build. Me. You can build a building on that property without talking to the commissioners. No, I didn't say that. Okay, because that's what I just said. You can't. You can't make changes. Um, right. You said you can changes. Make. You can do routine maintenance. You can put metal on a barn probably without asking, but you can't go put a new barn up. I don't. I am not. Um, I don't have the ability to say what you just said without you, talking you was, to the you prosecutor. You would you put a new barn up on it? And, and, and the thing talking. about it, Rodney, is who would do that without talking I'll make to my, the I'm trying to make a point. I, I just didn't get attention. But no, so, the bottom line is that the control and management of such lands and improvements are in the board of directors of the Ag Society. And you have a list submitted by them, approved by the board, and you have nothing else submitted by them that is in any type of meeting minutes or anything that you can go by that can deter by it from that list. And the list, I mean, as far as the expo works, I mean, and the other thing, we've got to look at dollars. I mean, now keep in mind, the grant was submitted to the county, okay? It, it's, not a, it's not something that we can say, hey, we got this grant, here you go. We've we got to make decisions here. We've got to make very important decisions. We get one chance to spend this dollar. Mm -hmm. You, know, you need to respect the sure people that totally are do. there all year round working hard that are and I've been meeting with those same people passionate. Mary. I've been meeting with those people. Those people that are there all the time, I've been meeting with them. I'm listening to them. With a select so, few. I think what we're finding here is you have your thoughts. Some other board members have their thoughts, and I totally respect your thoughts and theirs, and then other people have their thoughts. It's our job to filter through all this because I haven't been to a meeting yet where everybody agreed on the same thing. Well, I have, and you have that list. And where was the of expo? Now, keep in mind, it comes down to dollars, too. Mm -hmm. Because do we want to put a half a million dollars on the expo and let all the rest of our buildings That's fall down? That's not on that list. No, the, the, the rest, expo rest, are restrooms and showers. It's number six. Well, on and again, list. we need vision. You know, just because Vision is vision, okay? You can add that later. Well, it's not as easy as you think. I think I have well, as I great a knowledge about how difficult things are as you. And I would think that we could do the showers and the restrooms and then add this extra meeting rooms and all that stuff later. I mean, you can always build onto something with future... And it costs a lot more. Um, and no, well, okay, well, let me let me ask a question <laughs> then. Okay, so if we're not going to do this, if we're not going to do the showers and the restrooms, and you're saying that the Ag Society is okay with this, They're the, totally people, okay. the, pe the people you've talked to, now the board, the board submitted us this list. So by the people that. you've talked to, um, um, are okay with with you know the direction we gave Connie on Monday. I have to apologize, Connie. Um, where are we going to get the money for this big, this big vision thing? But Denise, why do we building? even go there right now? Where do we get this money? I don't money? think we should. I don't where, think we should either. But where do we get this money? We have to. It would have to be a grant. I mean, we're, it, but we're there's not no do. guarantee that we're ever going to no. another dime for anything. I mean, I, okay. this is the first I even know that this is the first this has ever happened. Okay, so we, we, we put these new bathrooms on all this stuff. Are we ever going to fix our barns up? Yes, well, we are. But I think we there are plans. And because we have economic development, because people can enjoy the expo more, because there are restrooms there to go to, we will have opportunities to have more events there, make more money, and bring economic opportunities, Mary, not just to the fairgrounds, but to all the concessions and the all the things. The chances of getting that much economic development, we probably have a better chance of getting a grant. Well, we are all So ready. you don't want to talk about a future but grant. Let's not talk about future economic time. development because of bathrooms. I don't think people's going to come to Trouble County to see bathrooms. It is an expo. enhancement to the biggest resource that we have on there. And you should know that there are already some initiatives being done to improve areas um, through community initiatives. 
So uh, I know James is working on that. Uh, Silfex is coming over yet this month or early July to work on the gazebo. And there are plans to put a new, uh, potentially put a new flagpole up there and do improvements. So, you know, we've got Suffix interested in coming and there's no reason, and I know it's James' intention to work more on other initiatives where the money taken to paint those roofs to side will be significantly less than the money devoted by this grant at prevailing wage. Well, and, and the, other, the other thing, our conversation when we walk through, and this is the bigger point for me, I mean, I think the extra billing, when I go, if I were to go rent a building and it doesn't have bathrooms, that's kind of a problem. But, but the bigger part was the electrical upgrades. I remember when we walked around down there and they told us how much they spend mm -hmm. on um, electricians every, even at just the fair. And we, we considered the, if we did the up, enough upgrades that the vendors could just plug in, right. that would save them, I can't remember the number, but it was thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. And so to me, that thousands of dollars of savings can help paint a building. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, and, but I, I'll tell you, Denise, and I attended those meetings also, there's a lot of expenses we just can't get out of. I, I mean, we, we need, we, the, here's the problem, that place is so, it's got so much age, and it's not been well kept only because lack of funds. Um, you know, I look at this, and, and like I said, I, I'm not up here as Rodney Creech. I mean, I'm, I technically I'm representing several of your fair board members too. Um, there's a lot of different ideas. All of them, are, all of them are great ideas. But and I remember one of the meetings I said because we were talking about putting all these new buildings up, and I mean, you know, they want we want a new maintenance shop. We want a, new, uh, you know, if you do one big project you're going to forget about all the little things that really need to be done. I do think we can save a lot of money on the bear, on the uh, structure of the grandstands, uh, but we don't know that either. I mean, that, that has to unfortunately be a top priority. I don't know if you've looked under there, Mary, but these beams are I busted have. Through. I could show you photographs of and it right now. They're horrible. But um, I don't want you to lose sight of, of what Denise was saying. Those bills paid to our electrical contractor, that's the number one most expensive area at the fairgrounds. So reducing that improves our ability to make those repairs. But a lot of the electrical upgrades was, you know, I think we can still do those. That's not a big dollar amount. The, the big dollar amount on the electric is adding to the, the camping spots, putting out for the, you know, the carnies as, as, as they're to, uh, called. You know, that's the big ticket items that, oh. you know, we won't be able to do. I, I guess, you know, I look at this, um, again, I think we've been on the same road here almost the whole time. I mean, you've had, how long have you had the PCI report? Two weeks. Yeah. This is the first I've heard that Denise isn't on board with well, the current Well, I thought, we were, I thought we, we were going to gut that list. I thought we were going to have a priority list. You didn't right. say anything about that Monday. I kind of did. I never heard you say anything in that nature. I actually said, where's the priority list from the I did, yeah. Right? That's, so that we can decide what to cut off of this list. Because, because Chris and I were in agreement. We don't... I am not okay with spending up to exactly what we have. I would rather cut a bunch of that off and, you know, and, and pick the main things, the main things that have to be done, the, the important things, and then let the rest of it drop off so that maybe we can get a bid for the electrical and, and just the vending area and, and that be something that we can do. But spending up to the amount that we can spend I was with Chris on this. It made me nervous, but I, I didn't know what to drop off because I didn't have any kind of priority. Keep list. in mind, like you agreed with me, when you're spending, when we're looking at a $260,000 grandstands, we cannot lie. And I'm with you there, too. I mean, I mean we've got it. But, but we don't know that for sure. Huge, I feel very confident that we well, don't Well, I would rather knock, I would rather knock the, some of these buildings off. Well, let's knock them all off and, and start over. I mean, I guess my point is, when, you, when you've got a $260,000 project, you can if we if we come up thirty thousand dollars short, we don't paint the top of the or the bottom of the roof that doesn't need painted anyway. Right. Well, I'd still rather you know? I'd still rather make enough cushion room for at least the ele electrical upgrades, at least. Well, and, if they, and, I, and that could be upwards of two hundred thousand dollars. Well, if I'm not talking. No, I'm that. not talking the campground. That uh, that's wish list to me. Campground adding me extra too. campground things is kind of wish list to me. I'm talking the main 
area there where the vendors plug in, because that's where the expense comes in, is the electrician has to come and, and hook all that up to let them hook in. I'm just talking the main vendor area yeah, I, and where they can come and plug in and pull out, but we have to we have to save money to do that. We have to be able to... It would be nice if the commission board would not micromanage a property that is the responsibility of the fair board. Rodney, when you are out there with a small handful of fair board members, with your energy, your passion, your vision, you are intimidating. You don't think that they don't just run right along with your ideas? I don't. Without having the input from other community members who feel that there are things more important. Now, I'm not saying that your ideas aren't good. But I'm saying that your fair board has submitted a list, and I question what right you have to nitpick and micromanage that whole list instead of honoring the work they've done and getting this grant going. Well, I think I I'm, don't have anything further to say. I'm going to give you. A, I'm going to give you a prime example, Mary. Um, the the list. I, I think this is a great guide. But if we, if we do the top three things, let's just say, for example, we do the top three things that you want to do, not you, but your board, um, it may not include the two horse barns out front that, to me, are very important. I mean, that is the front view of our fairgrounds. Actually, that's at the top of James's list. Well, let me see where it is on the list that we have, okay, because I don't, I don't see it. Let me see it. It's not on page one of the list we have. Let me see if it's on page two. Because this is the list that we have. So I guess what I'm saying is, and, and I, I'll tell you, and I'm married, I'm going to repeat myself. I've been to all your meetings. I can, if, with 15 different people, I hear 13 different things that are important. Well, I believe the buildings you are looking for are number 17, 18, and 20. And if they're not on the first page, it's because they're listed in numerical order by building number. So we don't have a priority list then. Uh, James has prepared one, so as said, requested, but he has not been given permission to hand that in to you guys. Now I'm confused. You said the expo was at the top of the list that was voted on by I'm talking about the priority list of the buildings. Where is that at? She just said James, James has it, but... But it's not been voted on. Right. So you're saying... So you're looking at what, on. all the things we'd like you to You said do. that you've had a priority list and we're not paying attention to it. Is that correct? I'm saying that you Hold have... On. Did, you, did you say you have, we have a priority list from you and it's not been paid attention to? You have that list in front of you right now. This is a priority list? Those buildings listed below um, were hopefully going to be completed by the grant. Is this a priority list? We have two different priorities. We have two different lists, Rodney. We have that's the original big picture list mm -hmm. that they're priorities. So it, it's the whole entire fairground. The second list that she's talking about is just the buildings. So there's two different lists. Yeah. Well, we've actually got about eight, but I guess I'm confused <laughs> because how many lists did we get? But you only have one approved by the family. I guess my and point that's is that one right there. I guess my point is, Mary, and like I said, I think you guys do a great job. I think you do a great job. Um, I think that the priority list that's been submitted, if, if you will, is is important. And, and but when we're looking at we have only so many dollars we can, we have, we only have so many dollars to deal with. We have to get the most bang for our buck. If we go out and blow all these grant dollars on two or three projects, we're forgetting about, I mean, when, when I look at fairgrounds, I don't just think about the fair. I have to think about the Pro County Pork Festival. I have to think of the future Etonic Music Festival. Because guess what? I think, in my opinion, the Etonic Music Festival is going to explode. If you go out and you put new bathrooms on the Expo Center, how in the heck, those bathrooms that are being redone by the grandstands are going to benefit the Etonic Music Festival in a great way. That's the way we have to look. We have to look at it as a whole. Well, don't preach to the choir. Well, I do think of okay. the community as a whole. I was just trying to intimidate you. Uh, it's but, not working. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think the more restrooms you have any place. But it will work on yeah. others. I think I think we have to look at this big picture and I know it's in uh, trust me, I Is hear that what you're why saying. you quit asking me to come? Asking you to come to where? To any of your meetings about the fair program. I never ask anybody to come. 
I would call Rod and I'd say, Rod, I want to meet with you on this. I want to make sure, I've worked with Rod a lot. I have a lot of respect for Rod. Um, I think that guy, I mean, he's tell the you. president of the board. Yeah. As president of your board, how much more authority does Chris have than you have? I'm not talking about authority. I'm talking about... I am. I, I'm talking about, I. it's okay for me to contact any Fort Fair board member and talk to them. Absolutely. At any time. Absolutely. But um, why did you quit contacting what me? You'll, why did I quit contacting you? Yes. I've talked to you a lot, Mary. I, I guess what I'm saying is... You, had, I didn't you had an opportunity Monday at Rotary to tell me about a meeting that happened that morning. I could you have, knew I was passionate about and you didn't share it with me. If you. I would have called you, I would have to call 14 other people. Is that fair? Is that fair? I mean, think about it. I mean... Rodney, uh, yeah. I give you all the credit in the world for going out and coming to Miller with all these different departments and all these different uh, issues. But what she is saying, from my viewpoint, and I'm sure you may take issue with it, is highly accurate. You can't sit up or call fair board members or anyone else besides fair and say, this is just Rodney Creech. In their minds, you're not just Rodney Creech anymore. You are a county commissioner. Sure. And they are, no matter what you say, what your views are, they're going to be taken in the context of being county commissioner. And to say, uh, I want to call up any fair board member. Well, yeah, you can. But this comes into uh, a recurring issue with little fiefdoms in this county where people call a few small groups, knowing full well there's a full board, and the full board isn't even aware of these things. You, you can't go out and try and build consensus with some of these people to try and gain a majority or run these things through. Uh, you, you know, I, I, I'll, there may well be multiple different lists here, but she is right. I, and I sat with you at that meeting, and I'll agree. It'd be nice if we could just paint everything and put new roofs on and make it look nice. But when there's a priority of bathrooms and showers, and that's what they want, and that's been out there since the beginning, those things will attract. Now, yeah, great, it looks nice, but if you have those front buildings looking nice, uh, you have to address, I think, with some of this money, because they've done a lot of these kinds of things, maybe not as many as they should as far as maintenance, in the past, on their own, without prevailing wage. And if you can get the showers in the the bathrooms into that thing, you may well draw in. Now, is that going to be the main attraction to Pribble County? No. But, it, you know, it may be a reason when someone's thinking they're, because a lot of these events at the fairgrounds, they go, they go somewhere else. And I'm sure they have other fairgrounds saying, come here. Here's what we have that they don't. And so you are, they are in competition whether you realize it or not on some of these issues. Now, sure. The fact that we're painted and got new roofs, that may not really impact them as long as they have some of these other issues. Now, if paint and roofs are going to be there, if we all know that this grant is a one-time thing. If we get another one, great. But it would be nice to attach that. And I know exactly what you're saying. We shouldn't be building new buildings when we can't take care of the old ones. But you're kind of adding something there that may anchor some future growth or some future uh, events not going somewhere else. Uh, as far as the Atomic Music Festival, I think it's a great thing for Preble County, but on the same token, you know, if, if you, I don't know if the, these bathrooms would be accessible to people uh, without going through the expo or from the outside or what, but that's, you know, that, the bigger it is, the more of an issue that's going to be. Uh, whether these groups want to shower or something, you know, I don't know. But this, these are all things you're not going to get just painting and putting your roofing on all this other stuff and I agree with both of you as far as not painting stuff on the grandstands it doesn't need paint but you can't go out there and say I'm just contacting someone so it's Rodney Creech I can call some people but if I don't call everybody I'm asking for trouble because it does look like I'm picking and choosing one one of the main issues that uh, with uh, your predecessor was the small group doing exactly what's going on here and, you know, it may help. Those people have a board. It's kind of upsetting that they're not here, but I, maybe they were told not to come. I don't know. But uh, uh, we, well, we I have, have to connect. 
You're not, I'm not creating my own groups per se. You, well, well, if you only contact it. several people and you know that the same people are showing up there all the time, then you can't be surprised at the outcome. Uh, it, it just doesn't. It just doesn't uh, work. Wait. So you've seen this new list, the priority list? Is is the I I have not seen it. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate sure. that. Um, is the expo at the top of that list then? The expo bathrooms? No, it's at the it. very top. Okay. But I it's seen it. it's within the realm of the grant dollars. I mean, it's I don't know if it's second or third or it's right up there. Yeah. I was curious. I, uh, James did tell me he had a list, but he did. You know, he said it hadn't been approved yet, so I didn't see it. He doesn't have permission to bring it in. So is this this new the new priority list has the big things and then the buildings in priority? So instead of numerical order, they would be in number one is number one priority? Yes. Okay. Thank you. When is your next meeting? A uh, week from this Thursday. Because we've been, I mean, I will agree with you in that this has drug off and we are on a, on a time. The, the time watch has started. Um, and I, I, have a, I, I, I'm, I have a real problem with that we're the blank. <laughs> I don't. I, really do know, I really don't think that we. That she we, said it was shared with us. I think yes. yeah, it's kind of one of those where we get something done, and then you have to wait and have a meeting. Right. Right. And your meeting. And then you have a meeting, and, and then we have to wait. And so, it's nobody's fault. Right. I kind of did take. You know. Yeah. But, especially because we've not been waiting on Connie and Kim. Yeah. At all. I mean, no. We, 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 that, not at all. No. As a matter of fact, when we gave Connie direction, I was kind of hoping that she wouldn't get it done as quickly as she did because she went probably that day and. Did what we We've had no do. issues with, with and so well, maybe it was a lack of giving <coughs> someone direction. Well, I, mean, I just know that grant administrators, administrators that many counties have, equal to our size, full time, without having to do all the other duties they have that your staff has to do. You know, given these projects, when you have eight hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, what does it take? How much math does it take to think that if I have an employee that I pay thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year to administer almost a million dollar grant and expect them to bring in more grants of those dollars? How quickly can I pay for my salary? That that is what I was trying to say. Right. Well, and, and you know, um, I don't know what percentage Kim's job is for the grants, but I know Connie's been working heavily on this too. I just want well, when you look at CD, I just, I just CDBG, know, I mean we're ranking high in the state. Um, right. I just, we're bringing more money in this county than most counties are. I just so, know we that, need more county. We need oh, more money. But I just I want to make sure that you And know, that's the only at, reason we're getting it. We're up at the top of it, you know. If 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 we're going to give new direction to Connie to talk to PCI, if that's what we think we might want to do, we have to have that list from the Ag Society. Um, and I know that you meet once a month. That is very inconvenient for... Um, I understand. I mean, th I mean that's the reason why we're, that this thing has turned out is because of the meeting schedules and everything. So I don't know... I mean, is there a way to call a special meeting? Is there a way to, yes. to approve that, that list so we can get it? But Denise, the list that she's talking about has the expo building on it. The list that was given to her the last time she was in was PCI's list. Right. Okay. But I, so I, that's that's the that's the priority that was that the board asked her to get. Was the priority list from PCI. Right, which is just the And the expo is not on that list. The expo if, if we even put showers and bathrooms. Expo is not on that list. If we even put showers and bathrooms on the Let's expo, I would say it would be a minimum of hundred fifty to two hundred thousand. When you start putting steel on steel, and I'm telling you, I, I just can't. I can see, I can see us coming up maybe with some possible dollars to upgrade some electric. But the, I mean, we're talking that is a huge project. And I mean, one hundred, one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. So are we estimate. talking added? Would it be added to that list? Or can yeah, we do it PCI, PCI did not include that in their list. But can we do it separately? Separately. Who's gonna pay for it? Well, it would be from the grant. I mean... You're saying can we add the Expo building to PCI's to-do list? Or can we just... See, PC, what's going to make this easy, Mary, is we're going through state purchasing, which doesn't... It, it's not, the state already has a contract with PCI. 
They've already taken, uh, that's going to be a majority of our work that we won't even have to do here in this office. And that's what makes this a, a great, that's what makes this an easier job going through state purchases. They can start in 30 days. They can, yeah. But if we give them uh, architectural drawings of the bathrooms and showers that we want, then they can bid from that. Is that correct, Connie? Are they um, the qualified they, contractor they in that be, area? They would be the ones that would take care of all of that. Why wasn't that? I'm confused. Now. Because there was too, there wasn't there wasn't the project when it first came here. You know, restrooms. Then somehow it got into let's build Shell. something on this side of the expo Shell. building, a kitchen, okay. meeting rooms. So and we did not, not there, that, and that did not come no from the fair board. I think Rodney was the only person here the day that that discussion took place. Right. And, I, and, and I understand now. We did not have. We did not have we a didn't clear, have picture. clear direction. We didn't have clear of what we wanted. And not, you know, we didn't have. Yeah. Right. I, and I now I get it now. I, I realize how this dropped off of this list is we did not have. We did not have. What we should have done is uh, restrooms and showers at the expo center should have made it onto this list with PCI, and. Because we didn't know, because there were there were probably eight different ideas of where to put it. But that came from the fair board. That's true. It was all, all of a sudden. What, what's going to happen anytime you bring in more people? Uh, yeah, well, it's a great vision, but you bring more people in, and they all have ideas about where. Well, it ought to be in a different place. It ought to have more things. I I understand that okay. process. I do. So. All right, and I and now I understand where where it dropped off. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that day we were in here, and I, I think this is a. a Can they do electrical upgrades too? Or that would that be separate? No, you have to the PCI. They would all be under PCI. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think when we were in here too, I think we came to the conclusion that if we're going to do this, and that was when Rod was here, and I think you were here, and I think Port Festival was here. I was not invited. The day the Port Festival was here? No. Not it. Not notified. See, and I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't invite. I, I don't know who, how. I don't know how that happens. I mean, as far as who gets invited, I, I'm sure the. Whole, I, I don't know if the whole board's invited or not. But long story short, Rod was in here, and we started thinking, you know, hey, this would be good because we got a. a, a the offices are not in the greatest oh. shape. Oh, sorry, um, but the offices are not in the greatest shape. The sheriff's office needs door down. It really does. Um, can we put this all under one roof line? I mean, I don't think we're ready for the addition on the expo because I think we can put, I think that that, that, that place could be amazing. Who's going to pay for that? And where are we going to get the money The only that? way that we're going to do it is a future grant. Right. So that it won't ever happen. It would, we would have to resubmit yeah, for another grant. And I already talked to both Resin Back and, and uh, Senator Beagle about it. See, we built the Rock Rabbit and Poultry Building the yeah. same way we're doing this grant. We did the same, we, we administered the grant, we got the grant from the same entity, and Smooth. I, I guess I guess I'm not I'm looking at this and, and Mary, we, need, we need to wrap this up because we're making Kyle sit back to, you, to use the word micromanage I don't believe we're micromanaging it anyway I think we're trying to guide the ship in the right direction for the to maximize the dollars because if we if we would have done and I my priority if I remember right the priorities were animal pens the expo I was at the top and the maintenance barn. If we would have done those That's three history. projects. That's history. Well, I'm just saying, if we would have done the three top projects that were discussed over there, we would have had no money to do nothing. We wouldn't even have money for electric. So I think there's so many ideas out here floating around. It's our job to kind of get everything together. And, you know, I do think we have a very good chance of getting in future dollars. No guarantees. But I think, I think we're in just as much trouble if we don't fix up the buildings that we have today because if we take that money and spend it and we don't fix up our current buildings, we're going to be spending a lot more money down the road. And to get to the last point, and we talked about this, Jeff, that meeting, from an economic development standpoint, I can tell you as a local business owner, if those build buildings look good, I will pay to have my, my, my name put on the side of that. I think for, as far as generating revenue for the fairgrounds, if we give that place a facelift down there, I can see Silpex hitting and I don't want to you know, put anybody on the spot, but the large local businesses along with some small local businesses, putting their names on the side. I, I can see us, and I've talked to James and, and, uh, about this, and he's, I think, going to end in you. I can see, I can see us generate between forty dollars and $60,000 a year just by sponsorships on these buildings. To me, that's a great revenue source that we can start doing. Maybe, you know, maybe we could do an addition on the, 
I, I'm looking at it from, from an economic development standpoint. Let's get our local businesses involved. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. It all sounds good again, yeah. but going back to what Mary says, my red book, they have control of those issues. Your vision is great for your, from your viewpoint. My vision is my vision also. But what it comes down to is the board has to vote on, and they have the decisive decision-making process of what really gets done down here. We, you can sit up here and administer it, but you can't, as, as my interpretation, and again, you may want to talk to the prosecutor. How about an agreement with the prosecutor? Do you? Between the agri Agricultural Society that, 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 and the board, board it says rules. that anything, it has to be approved by this board of county commissioners. The grant money came to the county commissioners. Okay. Well, uh, it, and I'm not trying to say that we have the power, I'm just telling you that that... At the very minimum, okay, if we're not going to touch the Expo Center, the restrooms, which I think we should... Well, how long would they sign that okay? Well, this came, this, this was not executed in 2010 and it's through 2030. 2030. I think I remember that. And, and, yeah. Well, I think that would be overruled by the Department of Agriculture in the state of Ohio. Well, it, it, and the code that this was... Yeah, well, it, at the very minimum, because there really was no clear direction, I mean, on the restrooms, I guess when we came back from our meeting, it was all a lot of pish-posh of a lot of different ideas. Um, at the very minimum, I think that we should, and we can talk to Chris at noon about this, um, is try to cut from that list at least to make room for the, for the electrical upgrades. We ask for, in this grant, electrical upgrades. And one of the points about paving was you don't want to pave and then do electrical upgrades because you're going to be tearing into your paving. They've got that all taken care of. So There's going to be conduit ran under the pavement, so that's not the issue. Who's got that taken care of? Uh, Kyle, you've been involved in that, I believe, having these parts of discussions. They're going to run conduit under the... Not That's the what Chris had said, but I made it very clear that we're not going to put a shovel in the ground no. at that facility because we have had people nearly killed by hitting an underground electrical. We didn't know where it was. We're going to repair the pavement. Yeah, and I didn't that. But no, Chris had mentioned but the you've conduit. Been involved in the conversation. Uh, Chris had mentioned it, and that's the extent of the conversations that I was involved with. So we don't have anything active, we don't have anything actively on a list somewhere that we're going to be putting conduit under this table. Well, I think that's going to be done internally, I, I would say. I would say we'll have to, you know, or maybe that we would have the electrical contractor do it. I don't know, but it's going to be done, I can tell you that. Okay. Well, it would be foolishness to not, to know that we got, well, I mean, we could run water under there. I mean, not just electric, you could run it. Of well, course, just, water, you'd probably run on a different one, I guess, but. I just, I just think that, and, and, we should have enough money to allow the vendors to plug in down there. Mm -hmm. We should at least do that much upgrading to save that amount of money. That that's one of their biggest bills. To save that amount of money, that that can be used toward, you know, yeah. something else. I think it's, yeah, I think it'd be great. So, okay, well, we need to we need to wrap this up because we are. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>